Hey guys, so welcome back. Today's video is on chain of command. So I thought the best way to demonstrate this was by using a dry erase board. So, if we were to start at the chain, top of the chain of command, the direct orders may come from the Air Force, as we are an auxiliary of the Air Force. So then it goes from them to National Headquarters. From there, it goes down to region. From there, it goes down to wing. And depending on your wing, it goes down to group. Depending if you do or do not have group, depending if you do or do not have group, it goes down to squadron. And then from there, it goes down to flights and stuff like that. So for the only real instance where you'd use this type of normal thing would be like Air Force needs people to go to New Orleans and in New Orleans they're going to do disaster relief. The Air Force would go, okay, so then they go down to the re and then it just goes down like that and then they get people at the squadron and then it trickles back up. I think that's pretty clear. So once we get down to the squadron level, it gets a little different. Squadron. Commander, Deputy Commander for Cadets, then you have the Cadet Commander. Okay, from the Cadet Commander, that's probably your highest ranking or your most experienced cadet in your squadron. Then it goes down to your Deputy Commander, and you may or may not have an XO. The XO would be in charge of support staff, and the DC would be in charge of line staff. Okay, so from your DC, you then have, it's a little interesting because you have here, you have your first sergeants and your flight commanders. And so the way I like to do it is you have the first sergeant and then you have flight commanders. So while the first sergeant isn't necessarily in charge of the flight commanders, they oversee the flight sergeants, which go with each flight commander. So this would just be a three flight squadron, and you have your first sergeant, which is in charge of your flight commanders. Then you have your deputy commander, who's in charge of your flight sergeants. Your first sergeants and your flight commanders are both gonna report to the deputy commander. Well, your flight sergeants are gonna report to your first sergeant and your flight commanders. If that makes a little bit of sense, it's a little complicated. So then you have your lines, this is your like, actual flight. Okay, and then you have these people right here, called your element leaders. So, that's pretty much how it's laid out, and then you have the rest of your flight. So your element leaders are put to your flight sergeant. This kind of makes sense. So, in a formation, So in a formation of who's reporting to who, you have your you have your airman. Okay, and he is not element leader. He's going to report to element leader. Okay, then he is gonna report to flight sergeant. Now, he is going to report to first sergeant, and to flight sergeant. And your first sergeant is going to report to your deputy commander, or this is the, this would be a cadet. Your flight sergeant is going to report to your flight commander. And your flight commander is also going to report to the deputy. So you've got those two different channels from the flight. And now, if you're doing this airman, you're traditionally not going to go straight to your flight commander or your deputy commander. Or you may not go. It, it just, it's kind of depends on your squadron because 
In my squadron, we don't have assigned element leaders, so the airman would go straight to the flight sergeant or the flight commander. It's kind of, they're a joint pair, these two. And there should always be lines of communication with the first sergeant and the deputy commander. So once it goes up to the deputy commander, it goes to the man in charge, or the woman in charge. You get your cadet commander. This is the top of the cadet food chain. From there, it's gonna go over to the seniors. And so I hope this made sense to you, and I know it's a little bit confusing uh, once you get to the first sergeant as the chain of command kind of branches out more, but once you actually start using it, it gets pretty simple. So if you have any questions on this whatsoever about how well, this works, all of that, I also leave links below to the roles and responsibilities of flight sergeant, first sergeant, and flight commander, as those are the positions I've been in the description box below. Be sure to check those out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!